Hey, get back to you. Today I got a review of Ian Kinsler, one of the newly released signature series cards. I guess it's been a couple days, but anyways, Kinsler here. Um, contact and against righties and lefties. Solid, I guess a little bit worse against righties, obviously. 16 points worse. Power is up in the 80s, which is nice. Vision 106, which is one of the most important stats. I mean, all five of those stats are super important. Uh, discipline, I I kind of like consider discipline lesser than the other stats. Clutch 103, I also don't really like look at that um, as much as maybe the other ones. But, uh, you know, if runners on second base, you know, the clutch stat helps. Um, and fielding. Great feeling across the board, obviously not diamond level. Arm strength 66 is mitigated a little bit to, like at second base because he doesn't have to throw the ball as far. Speed 75, um, solid. So he's just kind of like an all-around solid card. Maybe like a poor man's Ryan Sandberg there. Hits from the right side, uh, which, which means obviously he's not as good as Alomar there. I still think if I were like ranking the second baseman before we get into the whole how I think he hits and everything. Uh, I still think Alomar is number one. Ryan, I guess, would be number two. Rod is right there. The problem is, like, Pedroia is, or sorry, Pedroia is uh, probably equal. I think I'd take Kinsler over Pedroia, though, uh, just due to the price differences. Pedroia is, like, two and a half times as expensive. Um, so, like, uh, Pedroia's got better contact vision, uh, but fielding is kind of similar, and uh, they're about the same speed, too. Maybe Pedroia's slightly better at fielding. But Kinsler being 20,000 stubs, I don't know, would you guys consider that budget probably a little bit above, kind of like a medium level type of card, and every other color card that's better than them is also way more expensive than them, which is, I guess, a good place to be, that there's no more cards below you that are better than you. You can make an argument of uh, guys that have, like, pretty decent contact like the Altuve types that are around the same price, a little bit less. Um, that, that I could see an argument, but I, I'm not buying it. I think um, Kinsler is better than that. So, at uh, his current like 96 overall with his with his price level, it's 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 not necessarily like a must buy uh, because like what you see in this game is basically about what you can get, right? Like there are certain cards that have it. And it didn't feel like he had it. It's not somebody that I'm going to go out and say, hey, this is a budget stud. Go grab him. So, like, I don't know how to properly define that it word. Yeah, he's getting a lot of base hits. But wait till I show you the PCI placements and all these. So, like, this is what you're going to get the best. Like, these are, like, 15 um, square up, just about 15s. And then I'm going to show you a little bit of timing just late for the hit. 15 just late. It's an out. So, uh, like, I, I 15s up a lot of those balls. So, like, that's about as good as Kinsler's going to hit your entire life. So, Without, like, over 100 power, it's not, like, that impressive. But 80 will pop it over the fence a little bit. Maybe hit one every, what, 15, 20 at-bats, maybe, for you if, if you get put some good swings on it. Obviously, user input matters. All of these are at Hall of Fame level, just to let you know. This is not all-star hitting. All-star, he obviously will hit better than uh, you hit right here, and he's got a better chance of getting out of the park and stuff. Uh, but in the field, I like him. Obviously, he's still at the dish. I don't show any fielding plays. Uh, but... He's not going to make any major errors for you there. Uh, the speed is solid. Wow, look, look how far behind that one I was. Oh, too late on that. Uh, didn't see the cutter coming. I was looking off speed. Anyways, let's talk. Let's take a little bit about that swing. It is a nice level swing there. It, it kind of gets to the zone quick. It doesn't feel like the, the greatest, quickest swing, but it does have a nice level plane for like line drives. And, you know, I, I, I guess a lot of the swings are pretty similar timing. Maybe, maybe a frame or two off is something I really got to look into. But some swings just feel better. And like his, his glitchiness, getting the balls through the uh, infield there, you saw in that first game. Um, it, it just, I don't know. I, how do you describe it? So... The animation, I, I like how he's like he's a little further away. He's not like Joe Morgan or anything. He's, he feels like he's properly spaced away. It feels like you can get to inside balls. It doesn't feel like you're crowding the plate or anything like that. I didn't have that type of problem. There we got over top of the fastball and hit it right at the third baseman, unfortunately. So finding holes always a little tough in this game. Here we are uh, facing the knuckleballer, fear of bend, um, and uh, we'll see we'll see if we can do anything here. And yeah, get ready to hit knuckleballers for that moonshot event next week, basically. But overall, my, my final thoughts on Kinsler, I think he's a solid piece. Obviously, I think, you know, free Joe Morgan, if you're at Diamond Level 100 or after you get, like, Frank Thompson stuff, uh, would be maybe a better choice, better card there. But Kinsler, for what he is, for, like, a mid-tier budget card, like, kind of high-tier budget card, I think he's a solid grab. So get him if he's in your budget. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.